a show that tackles the big issues affecting the BVI and the rest of the Caribbean. Searches for answers to today's big questions and gives viewers a unique perspective on developing stories. Follow the big story with me, Kathy Richards, only on JTV. This show is brought to you by the National Bank of the Virgin Islands, Cyril B. Romney Tertola Pier Park, NV Salon Spa Nail and Barbershop, the Wellness Center, Medical and Behavioral Health Clinics, Tissily Cross Deliciously Smooth Cider, HOV Medical and Digicel. Sign up for Digicel Plus Home Light Bundles, faster internet movies and sports. This is a big story. I'm Kathy Ridges. I want to thank you so much for joining us for today's edition. In studio with me is no face that is a, that is strange to you, but a very familiar one. When you're not seeing her face, you are hearing her voice because she's a constant advocate for all things cancer. I want to welcome you, Ms. Gloria Foy, mm -hmm. to the big story. Thank you very much, Kathy. Nice being here. Mm -hmm. I love the colors, even from your eyes right down to your dress. You're doing it. Yes. <laughs> Thanks to Debbie from um Umi. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, we know whenever we see you or we hear Gloria Foy, we seldom hear about her doing anything other than fighting uh, for the cause of cancer. Persons who are living with uh, and persons who are, are not but are some way affiliated. And for those of us who may not have experienced it, helping to ensure that we do not get to that stage and for us to help in the care and support for others. The Cancer Society is evolving. Yes, it is. And, you know, we have rebranded um, in 2021, 21, I believe. Yeah, yeah we have rebranded because most persons in the community thought of us as a breast cancer society. And we're certainly not a breast cancer society. We are BVI Cancer Society, which encompass all the different or various types of cancers. Mm -hmm. And you know, there are many things that would have attributed to that because uh, for the most part, breast cancer was very prevalent. We were losing women mm -hmm. to, to that fight. And uh, we understand you as well. I think you're 19 yes. to 20 years. That, no, no, it's, it's not about 12 years. It's 12? <laughs> oh, oh. Oh. Well, I, I, I hope I reach at 19 to 20 years. <laughs> that was Dr. Arlene Tippen that was stuck yes, in my head. Yes, 19 years. Yes, she's yes. 19 and you, yes. uh, you being a breast cancer survivor yourself. Yes, I think um, a lot of people attributed to the fact that Judith, Mrs. Judith Correa was a breast cancer survivor and she along with her daughter and other members started the cancer society mm -hmm. which a lot of people term as a breast cancer society mm -hmm. but like you said Katie, it has evolved mm -hmm. and we are no longer a breast cancer society we are the British Virgin Islands Cancer Society. Mm -hmm. And when we talk about the evolution of anything, we, I, 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 I run quickly to look at how we communicate to show the evolution of time. There was a time when there was no, no telephone, no cell phone, no nothing. Look at where we are yes. today. And so well, our the press of a button. The click of a button. Mm -hmm. And so and the soul has things in our physical being uh, being involved, the way we look at certain things. And cancer mm -hmm. is one of those many things that we hear the conversation among the men so often is that listen all y'all talk about is what affects the women and this is changing drastically yes yes um bvi cancer society is definitely evolving we made a promise that we're going to move away from the women society and we're going to include men mm -hmm. and that is what our focus is on for this year. We have had a domino tournament, which was very successful. I, may, I, I didn't realize that domino was so, you know, so, mm -hmm. so um, thriving in the British Virgin Islands. Every corner you could find and, that group playing. Yes, and then we had about 20 men registered. Mm -hmm. And of course, at that event, you know, we spoke about prostate cancer, mm -hmm. which is very prevalent now among men. And then we have colon cancer right behind us. So, Kathy, yes, we have to move away from the breast. We have to move away from the women. We have to focus on the men now. And coming to the men, we, are, we want to call a program where we will have informal discussion at 
Village Key Marina. That's next week, Saturday. And we're going to be talking about men. We have two um, male cancer survivors. We have um, a male doctor. So everything on Friday is going to be geared toward, I mean, Saturday is going to be geared towards men. Men. Okay, so before we even get into this activity, there are some things that we need to understand so that person could understand the, 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 the significance and the importance of this. And also, while, we, while we're saying move away from women, I want us to make sure that you, we get it right. It's not that we're moving away from women, we, but we are bringing together yes. with the focus of the women is Yes. Use, the men's issues when it comes to uh, cancer of the of the of the night of the is 15 how many men you said uh, 19 persons 19 persons who would have registered at that event what is the common conversation that you are hearing among those those men men are very timid I don't know why they're scared to find out what's going on with their bodies. And now we had the opportunity to talk to say, look, hey, early detection saves lives. You can't sit in the background and wish something away. We need to embrace what is going on and deal with it as quickly as possible because it depends on your survival. And some things are cultural, you know. Uh, being timid, as you would put it, uh, is not necessarily something that they want to do, but it's what's been cultured into. So there is that barrier that we have to work so hard to, to get past. And we at the BVI Cancer Society, we are really working very hard to break down those barriers because, look okay, here, we want our fathers, we want our husbands, we want our or nephews, mm -hmm. or uncles, our partners, we or our partners, lovers, yes. whatever you want to call it. We want them to be with us as long as possible. And that's why we're going to do everything possible to bring them along with us, Cathy. Mm -hmm. We need our men. We need them in our lives for a very long time. And the kids needs Their them daddies, too. So the, yes, and the uncles. And, and everybody. Cousins. So children, bring those guys out. Mm -hmm. How's, why is bring your guys out? Mm -hmm. Partners, uh, bring your, your partners out. out. Yes, and, they, and you don't even have to wait for anyone to bring you out. You come along, this is your, we have to come to that place to understand this is, is this, this belongs to me. Whether it be male or female, this belongs to me. And the onus is on me to, to embrace, make sure. Yes. Embrace your bodies mm -hmm. and take care of your, your bodies because this is the only body we have. Mm -hmm. You know, so we want to be around as long as possible. Mm -hmm. The, the uh, BVI Red Cross would have had their, their annual event, and we are seeing reports that are coming out that the results were alarming with their number of oh the number God. of men mm -hmm. who, who, were, 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 who participated for prostate screening. They, mm -hmm. they, they're, 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 they're great concern as a, in a rise in the numbers. One, it can mean that not necessarily more men, but more men now coming forward to be screened, uh, but also you can't run away from the fact that it may very well be a striking uh, mm -hmm. increase in numbers is happening. Yeah, and it pleases me because I was there. We partnered with them. Cancer Society was there. And it pleases me to see a lot of men now are coming out more and more every year. Before, it wasn't a lot. But now, more and more men are taking part, and I'm glad about that. And um, we really need to come out more, if not at Red Cross, See a private physician mm -hmm. if you have a problem with being public, mm -hmm. you know. But yes, I commend those those guys who came out. And like I said, early detection would save their lives. Mm -hmm. And um, there's nothing wrong with you being examined. Just look some, at just look at it as an examination because some, I'm, some I'm, are concerned, but there are there, there are different ways that yeah. these examinations are being done. As you could do it through a blood test. Yes, or, yes, yes, so. yes, yes. So no longer, and even if your your result comes out mm -hmm. negative, you have that opportunity now and experience as well to mm -hmm. talk to other men, to talk yes. to young boys. The conversation with your sons and your 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 brothers and little cousins and even the guys in the yes. streets can be different. And Cathy, I always said to them when, when I speak to them, I said, okay, it's best to be a little uncomfortable for a couple of minutes than to be in pain. And when I'm talking about pain, hmm. pain hmm. for the rest of your life until you die. Hmm. It's a horrible, horrible thing to see Cathy because I've seen many persons in that pain from a two-year-old 
hmm. up to, I think the person was 40 something years old. It's, it's a horrible death that you die. So the earlier you, you get help, the better for you. Mm, awesome. So let's come back to this event mm -hmm. that is happening. I think it's on the 16th. Yes, it's going to be. The yeah, it's, it's going to be on the 16th um, of June. It's going to be at Village Key um, Conference Room. Mm -hmm. And guess what? We have some surprises for you too because the first ten guys that come in mm -hmm. going to be going to get um, a mystery gift. The 16th of June is, is a Friday. It's, a, it's the Friday, it's the holiday. 17th, so sorry. It's the 17th. It's the 17th. Okay. I had to go to my calendar. 17th at um, 6, 6 p.m. in the afternoon. We have cocktail. We have snacks. We're just going to sit down, enjoy the ambience, and we're going to talk to those two survivors while they share their story. And we have the famous Damien Grange as the host, and we're also going to have a doctor. But I would... I would let that doctor be anonymous so now come out ah. or tune into we're going to be on live on facebook as well mm, mm -hmm. okay uh, how do i how do i become a part of the audience how can how can a person just tone, join the audience? just tune in it's going to be on facebook live just tune into the virgin islands cancer society page and we should be there live okay so you don't have a physical audience where uh men and women can just come and be in, oh, in, yes. in the, in the we're going to have we're going to have a live audience as well. Mm -hmm. We're going to have audience on the internet, and we're going to be encouraging as many men, women, I'm talking to you, bring out those men. Bring them out, and you come too. And all of us will sit down together and have a nice chat, mm -hmm. an informative chat mm -hmm. on cancers affecting men. Okay, and while I understand cancer in so many different ways, having experienced it in different ways, not personally on my physical, but that of one of my uh, children, I can say to you men, bring yourself out too. <laughs> Don't sit back and wait for a woman because you have, you have it within you to, to pull yourselves out to, to this event. And going forward, uh, what is it that you expect to come out of this forum that you're going to be having? Most of all, I expect that men and even women, everyone as a whole would be informed because we are going to get to the nitty gritty. We're going to break it down. We're not going to be using those big highfalutin words. We're going to break it down for you. And the audience at Village Key and the audience on, online, online have the opportunity to talk to us, to ask us questions, and we intend to answer all the mm. questions and be the beautiful thing of, of this is it's just the day before father's day and this is our treat to fathers <laughs> we want to take care of you dads out there anyone out there listening to us it doesn't have to be the dads alone but we want all the men to get involved we care about you and that this is what the bvi cancer society is going to give to you this Father's Day. Don't forget, we have about 10 mystery prizes. Oh. Very good mystery prizes. Oh. And that's for Father's Day as well. Oh, so only the men are going to be able only to Only the men. Okay. We wouldn't get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the beautiful thing that comes out of this, too, is something that has been ha absent from, from, from families and amongst us as, as a society in general is the men understanding uh, a woman's body and how it operates and a woman totally understanding a man's and when we have occasions like these and and, and and these evolving way of which we in which we look at our health it helps us to, to to bridge that gap that has been there for quite a while it also help us to improve our relationship yeah because you you Katty, mm -hmm. with your partner mm -hmm. you love your partner mm -hmm. so you're gonna do your utmost best to make sure your partner is healthy and strong mm -hmm. So it's 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 a good it goes hand it's in a hand. great family event and I'm expecting everyone to join in. Let's fill the conference room on the seventeenth. On the seventeenth at six PM at Village Key Marina conference room. Okay, so I want to thank you so much, Gloria, for stopping by to share this bit with us, uh, helping us to understand men that there is no longer that focus of only everything is the woman, the woman, the woman. What happened to we men? Well, it's happening for you men now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, uh, yes, we love you men. Yes. We really do. We love yeah. you men. And like I said, the Cancer Society will be targeting you. 
not in a bad way, in a good way, yes. your health. And you know, your health is wealth. Awesome. And uh, thank you again for stopping by thank here you very on The Big Story. And we encourage you men to take stock of your health. Come along and learn as much as you can. If you're not the person who would sit in an audience or comment online, remember to check with your doctor. It's only for yourself and to encourage your peers to do the same. I'm Kathy Richards. Thank you so much for joining us for this edition of The Big Story. We know that where you choose to bank matters, and it is your vote on what your funds do in strengthening our community. As your official bank of paradise, we invest and support the lifeblood of our economy by helping in the realization of personal goals for homeownership, education, and entrepreneurial visions, which support small businesses. We make it our place to connect with persons and worthy causes, and we have been doing so for more than 30 years. Where your money goes and what your dollars empower are your choice. And we thank you for choosing us. A bank that gives where it matters the most. For you. For our community. And a happier tomorrow. The National Bank of the Virgin Islands. Everyone looks to the future, but no one truly knows what the future holds. The number of people under the age of 20 with type 2 diabetes could increase by 49% by 2050. Let it be known that we all have a 30% chance of developing hypertension. Globally, more than 300 million people of all ages suffer from depression. More than 60,000 young adults aged 20 to 39 are diagnosed with cancer each year. Obesity leads to problems such as stroke, heart disease, and kidney failure. No matter your race, age, or color, we are all at risk. These diseases can be managed or prevented if caught early. But with the right medicine and the right doctors to keep us on a path to live a robust and healthy life. We will live well. Hi, I'm Cowboy, and I'm running for stake pre no, no, presidents of stake. Thank you. And I will meet your needs. Some bathrooms are so expensive to build, they come with security. But at Staycation Butchers, our meats are affordable. People always ask me, Cowboy, where does your salmon come from? Well, our salmon comes from the water. A vote for Cowboy is a vote for quality, integrity, and consistency. So come into Staycation Butchers and cast your vote for me, your next president of steak. Alexandra Durant approves this message. No, I don't. Plug into Digicel Plus and get even more entertainment with Disney Plus included. The best of Disney, Pixar, Marvel, Star Wars, and National Geographic all in one place. Whenever you want, plug into Plus to enjoy Disney Plus and much more with a home fiber bundle. Sign up today to sell Plus.